Okay. Okay, um, raise your hands if you have never before seen a cigarette, heard about cigarettes, have no knowledge of them whatsoever. Okay. <laughs> okay. Well, um, that's the thing. We all know about them. We've all seen them. Everybody, we, we've either known someone who's done them or seen people do them. And the question is, why? Like, why do people smoke cigarettes? Why is it such a big deal? And an even qu bigger question is, what are they smoking and what is it doing to them? Um, studies show that most people start smoking as teenagers. Um, it doesn't really happen later, like in adulthood, they do it as teenagers, and you know, you're more likely to do it if you have friends that smoke or family that smokes. And um, in high school, like we all know that like peer pressure is a thing. Like we all think like, no it's not, but it is. We do things with our friends, we do things to try things and experience, and like, you know, to be cool, I guess. Um, everybody, especially the girls in here, I'm sure had a phase where they wanted to be like Sandy from Greece with a cigarette in her hand and like leather jacket and kiss Danny, you know, everybody wanted to do that. <laughs> yeah, like, um, and like that's a part of it. And um, in 2010, more than 30% of the top movies rated G, PG, and PG-13 had tobacco scenes in them. And before that, in 2005, two out of every three movies did. And one of those, one out of three of those movies were youth films. Um, we all took U.S. history, or taking it, and we learned in the 1920s that advertising was huge, and that's when it really started. The Roaring Twenties, and everything was um, luxury became a thing, and um, the two biggest advertisements were Coca-Cola and cigarettes, and that plays a huge part. Um, most people don't know that there, there are a lot of chemicals in cigarettes, but there are 7,000 chemicals in one cigarette this big. And 69 of those chemicals are known for causing cancer. Um, smoking is directly responsible for 90% of lung cancer deaths and 80-90% to of emphysema and chronic bronchitis, bronchitis deaths. And 8.6 million people in the U.S. suffer from an illness caused by smoking. Million people. 86, 80, wait, 8.6, that's just a lot. Okay. Um, it is, the American Lung Association says that smoking leads to having a stroke, cataract, emphysema, as well as bladder, um, lung, oral, throat, cervical, kidney, stomach, and pancreatic cancers, plus many more. And it also shows that men who, who have been smoking their whole lives die 13.2%, 13.2 years earlier than they would have if they didn't, and women um, die 14.5 years earlier than if they didn't smoke. And, like, well, a lot of us have brothers and sisters younger than 14, and, you know, that's a lot of, like, that's a lot of years that they could have had to live on this earth. Um, a lot of people know, like, everybody knows, like, yeah, there's bad stuff in cigarettes. Well, what, exactly what is in cigarettes is found in nail polish remover, hair dye, um, household cleaners, rat poison, rubber cement, lighter fluid, battery acid, um, embalming fluid, barbecue lighter fluid, um, stuff that's using batteries, mothballs, rocket fuel, paving roads, manufacturing, <coughs> like all of this bad stuff. And some I don't get why people brush it off. Like you're smoking rat, po like rat poison? Like I don't know. That kind of blew my mind. Um, <laughs> and even with all these facts, people continue to smoke. Um, the nicotine is a big reason, um, and all the addicti addictive chemicals, and um, that is why I believe the government should ban the sale of cigarettes and believe that they do no good for this country. With no one legally allowed to buy cigarettes and smoke, they are less likely to become addicted and will not be as exposed to it in the first place. Um, there is tested evidence that has said because that people who live, who are 65 years old and have been smoking their whole lives, they know all this stuff now and wish they could stop, but because of the nicotine, they can't. Um, this is a, a video that I took myself. Um, I'm a very good family friend, and she's going to give you her opinion on cigarettes. Sick. Hello, Miss Marjorie. Thank you for being with me today. Um, I'm going to ask you a couple of questions. How long have you been smoking cigarettes? I don't know if it'll go any louder. Okay, so 
what is your personal opinion about cigarettes? I think cigarettes now are the biggest danger in life. They make you own, they are killer health wise. You can't breathe. It's such an acceptable in America. Mm -hmm. It's, I can't take it enough. I wish I could stop. I tried three times. The Zantac, the what? Zantac, <laughs> Chantix. <laughs> Thank you. Boom. 